Hi there, it's uh, me. Uh, if you want to know my name, look in the description bar. This sounds kind of bad, but when I made this video, I can't. For I couldn't for the life of me remember what my new account name was, but um, because I have like two accounts on YouTube. Uh, but one is for iPhone stuff, and other, it doesn't matter. Today I'm here about this. It's a silicone case for the iPhone 4. Um. I'm going to do a little review, but I would have done an unboxing, but there really wasn't that much to unbox. Uh, it's a, I got it from MoboZone.com while I was waiting for this baby. The Griffin Survivor. Uh, but I'll do something on that later. This is now. Uh, it's just a silicone skin as you can see it's kind of stretchy and I'm not going to show it on the iPhone because using the iPhone to record this video I wanted to see what the quality would be like it was the first video I recorded with the iPhone but um it doesn't really order uh, give that much protection the only reason I ordered it is because I was waiting on the Griffin Survivor uh, I didn't have enough money to get the Griffin Survivor right off the bat so I ordered this was like two or three bucks and uh, plus shipping and handling but it wasn't really all that bad and it came with a cheap Japanese or Chinese screen protector which was worthless that I didn't use uh, I'm kinda upset about that at MoboZone skimped out on their screen protectors it's supposed to be really good with uh, things but this case is it's a uh, nice but uh, since it's white or whatever and the camera cutouts not really all that big I mean it's like it's a perfect fit there's no problems except for the flash it does create that issue with the flash but um which I have used flash a lot when I'm recording videos so that kinda you know defeats the purpose but uh other than that it's a really good case uh it does offer some shock absorption for drops but yeah I wouldn't recommend I mean, like maybe if it falls out of your pocket or something onto a wood floor unlike the Griffin Survivor and uh I, re I just ordered like the Griffin Reveal. I heard it had some flash problems too, but like, like there's a thing I heard about where you can like take a black sharpie and like go around the inside of this part right here, black it out, and it'll not have the flash issues. So uh, I am gonna do that when I get the Griffin Reveal. I, I really like the Reveal because of the clear backing, and it was cheaper than the uh, other cases like the uh, mm, let's see what's another one the ice cube edge or whatever ice box edge g4 case or gear 4 my bad not g4 gear 4 but uh that's pretty much it for this oh yeah let me talk about the ports this cutout is actually very very bad let's see if I can take and turn that off let's see there we go flash out there for a second. See, I don't know if you guys can see that all that well. Let's see, zoom in there a little bit, or focus. It's really bad cut out. I mean, it's like, see the bottom part of there, it's like you got excess silicone and stuff. And it's horrible for plugging up the dock because it kind of stretches this part right here up, and it looks really bad. But other than that, there's really no problem. The mute toggle is really easy to get. It does add a little bit of thickness to your phone. As you can see, that's the thickness that it will add there. And uh, that's about it. The mic, and no problems with the noise cancellation. The buttons are covered, but they're nice and clicky when you press them. Uh, so it's the top, the are the volume buttons and the, the lock switch, lock power switch is covered, but there's no issues. And this comes in multiple colors. It's the tire skin. It's all, obviously it's a tire skin uh, case. Other than that, eh, that's about it for this review. Uh, watch out, or keep watching, or keep looking, I should say, for my in-case kickstand case review. Uh, thanks for watching.